Mixed up and ready. Cans labeled. That's the paint chip code for this particular variant. So I went ahead and wrote that on there. That way, if I love the way it matches, next time I need to look it up, I know if I grab the one that's got the chip code number, that was the same color as this one. There it is. There it is. Mixed and ready. All right, we're fixing to mix some of this automotive art driven by color. What you gonna mix? What color? Well, we're about to mix a 726 ASGM sheer silver. This is gonna be our spray out card for it. I've labeled it 726 GM, dated when the date is we mixed it. I put uh, how much I mixed. Of course, you can't see it, I got my tape over it, but I'm gonna mix 13 point, uh, 13.19 ounces is what the computer said it'd take to paint a hood. So that's what I'm going to mix. And this is what the spray out card will look like when it's done. This is a Toyota Black. It's 218. This was a standard mix out. Painted a bumper for a daddy did this one. We're going to try to make a library. And then that way we'll get another 218 Toyota in. We can go, all right, yep, that variant matches. Because you got different variants. Just like this color right here. I don't know if the camera shows it. But these are both PW7 white on a Dodge. You can tell they look different. Yeah. I don't know if you can on the camera or not, but I know looking at them you can. They're two different colors. But like I said, they're both PW7s. This is a standard mix, which is what I painted the Dodge truck. This is a lighter mix, which is what we painted the bumper on the uh, Wagoneer. So that's why we need spray out cards in a library. It's, like I said, same color, same paint coat, everything, and it's two totally different colors. I don't know. You can really tell that one looks to me like a brighter white yeah, through this, the This cameras. is like white. So and maybe it shows this through This is there. a little too black. Whoop, um, she's done rolling. All right, so let's get to mixing our 726S. Here's the first toner, metallic bright. We got to do... 147.6 Uh oh gonna be real close, ain't it? I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yeah, 40 more to go. She's slowing down. She's slowing way down. This is no good. Alright. Let's see if we can get the... Alright, we have raked and scraped that can <laughs> clean just well, about. I might All get another. Drake might can stick his tongue in there and get some more out, but we've only come up to 100. 9.5. But guess what? There's a whole other can sitting over here we didn't know we had. <laughs> After we've been sitting here raking and scraping for 30 minutes. So let's get this can mounted up. Alright, so you got the rest of the 94 added, right? Yeah, so now I'm working on this 93. And I'm trying to get 119.3. Ooh, getting down to the touchy stuff, ain't it? Don't breathe on the scales. I'm not breathing at all. The good thing about the camera here, we can just cut it when you get right to where you need it and they think it is anyway. <laughs> Cut, 
cut. Look at that, 193.3. And that's of the 93. So now the 87. You need 76.9. And did you show them where we got these numbers from? No, I didn't show them out. But that's, you know, we type in the code. Type in the code and it tells you what you need right here. You can't hardly see them through the camera, but it tells you each toner you need, each amount of weight, and all that. It tells you what it'll total out to be. But that's where you get all your info. And then I, you get all your different toners. I like to write it down right here. That way I can just look here instead of going. Well, about the time you go to look back the other way, that's when your computer will go black. Right. So I like to go ahead and write it down. So now I'm going to put 87, which is a binder additive. I'll hit this OT button right here to clear it back out. I do, uh, you can do accumulated scale or you can do eat weight of each uh, binder or um, I had the word for it earlier, toner. I like to do each individual toner. 87, we gotta get 76.9. Seventy-six point nine, and that's the binder additive, right? Mm I like watching paint dry, ain't it? Real close, ain't it? <laughs> Just a tad more. I mean a tad. I'm going to go ahead and get this long stringy because I feel like that's going to put me over the... <laughs> it's going to pop off in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's aggravating when you get that close right there. And, and you feel like that's enough drops to put it at that point one, but oh, There it goes. There it just is. took that one last little drop to settle in. On to the next one. Alright, so we got to get 99. 99. Yes, a little drop at a time. This is the flop additive. This is going to change how it flops when you look at it from side to front. Side to side, different. Come on, All right, 31.9 over 99. So now 21, you need what, 14.1? Mm -hmm. It's a deep black. Deep black. Who would have thought you'd use a deep black to mix a silver? Well, you use 14.1, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. If you're doing 13, a little over 13 ounces. It's amazing how the different toners, how much different they weigh um, in like the drops. Oh, yeah. How they come out of the thing different and stuff too. Give it a second. Settle down. Well, I'm getting down to that last point, and I just can't get it to flip over. <laughs> yeah, just don't want to go, does it? Mm -hmm. 
14.1. And we're rolling this gold stuff. Here. A deep black to a what? Transparent white. So let's blacken it up. Just add some white <laughs> to make it lighter. We only got 4.7 of it. 4.7. May have to speed this video up. Just certain parts of it. <laughs> Four point seven. One more now. A fifteen, a point oh seven. Fifteen. Which is oh, oh, all right. Now you got a what? We got to go with a fifteen, which is a bright blue. A bright blue. So here we are now going from black to white to bright blue to make it silver. We just gotta have point just a tad fish flake off. off. Point oh seven. <gasps> Did that not jump up before you even? I think it was uh don't go off that now. We got it mixed up anyhow. I'm gonna put the lid on it, go over and put it in the paint shaker and Shake it up and let's Shake see what happens. It, it likes to be shaking, not stirring. But anyway, there you go. Driven by color, automotive art, professional refinishing system. How to mix and paint. And we're mixed uh, silver for a O. Oh, it's 13. For a 13 Chevrolet pickup. Yep. Wow. Sheer silver. Sheer silver. So here we go. Thanks everybody for tuning in. 256 Garage out. Yeah.